Hey, I'm Yasmin Evans, and I'm here at the iconic Abbey Road Studios with the super talented Lewis Capaldi, one of three shortlisted for the Brits Critics' Choice. Pretty mad. Pretty mad, mate. Yeah, hello. Hello, and congratulations. Thanks very much. I'll, do, I'll give you a little clap. There we go. And Alex, Alex this is me accepting it. Yay! <laughs> Eating the applause. <laughs> no, I'm not ready to be just another of your mistakes. To wanna let the pieces fall. Where were you when you first found out? I was in Copenhagen. I was in a hotel. And I got a FaceTime of one of my managers and he was like, um, I've got I've got something to tell you. And he was being quite sombre. But it, it just kept prolonging and going, oh, I don't know why it is. And I was like, you know, shut up. Let me know what it is. Spill the beans, not the cat at the back. And he was like, oh, you've been nominated for Critics' Choice. And I says, shut up. And then he was like, and I was like, honestly, like, did not believe him at all. And he was like, no, no, honestly. And I was like, all right, fucking yash, man. That was my exact words. Sorry, I, sorry for swearing, <laughs> but I have to be true to self here. But uh, and then I was like, because uh, I was. Did you also the, say yash? Oh, I went fucking yash. Yeah, uh, exactly. <laughs> totally. But and, uh, and I was kind of on this like balcony thing where you could see down to like the the lobby. Oh right, the lobby. Uh, oh right. And I was like, and I definitely shouldn't have done this because you weren't supposed to tell anybody. But I was like. Fucking Craig's Choice nominee to pass us by, <laughs> and uh, I mean they were all Danish. Couldn't understand what they were saying, but I was just letting them know, and it was uh, it was uh, I was <laughs> exalted. Yeah, that's, that's what I, that's what probably been to. my um, favourite story. <laughs> 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 to wanna let the pieces fall out of place. If you could give yourself an award for anything other than music, what would it be? Um, I think my philanthropy. No, <laughs> sorry. Um, I'm sorry. I think. Um, what are you good at other than music? Fuck knows. We can't uh, use that either. Honestly, it's lucky we got this far. To be honest. Um, <laughs> I've seen your video. You could you could get an award for I dancing. Do, I could do some dancing, or specifically of the pole variety. <laughs> yeah. The pole dancing is definitely yeah. the thing I would give myself. The way you for. load yourself so delicately, like a feather. Yeah, and it was delicate like a feather, and it wasn't you know as 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 hard as in an anvil falling from a, from, a, from, a, from, a, from a tall roof. That was yeah. a weird reference. Um, uh, no, uh, yeah, so pole da yeah, you're right, pole dancing yeah. and just generally being quite sexy. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Back yourself. Being shortlisted for a Brits Critics' Choice yeah. and probably, you know, world peace. What else are you asking for for Christmas? Um, What's going on? Socks and pants. Always. Definitely. Cannot have more. Necessity. Cannot have enough of socks and pants. Um, especially the way I burn through them. And not, not and I don't do anything weird to them, but. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, God! I get through a lot of pants, let's put it out there. Yeah. Um, and you travel a lot. So, I do travel and you a leave lot. pants yeah. in the hotel. And this is exactly because of, yeah, they're just, you know, really messy and stuff. No, yeah. Not messy, messy is the wrong word, dirty. Dirty pants. Um, <laughs> dirty pants. Dirty <laughs> pants. Uh, no, um, so, yeah, I, I, I kind of like, up until recently as well, I was, this is a weird. Please tell me. Like, up until recently, I've always been a much of a, a scrimper and saver when it comes to underwear. So, I think, inside out? No, no, <laughs> no, like I just don't pay that much money. Well, I didn't pay oh, that much money. you just get quite, the cheap ones. I was quite cheap on it. Um, and I was like, oh, fuck, no, no one's going to see them, obviously. Uh, maybe until they do. No one sees them until they do. Do you know what I mean? But they were like, no one's going to see them. And I'm like, cool. I, but then it was my tour manager that was like, but think about it this way. You wear pants every single day of your life. Mm. Like it's the one thing that you wear mm. constantly. Mm. So he convinced me to sponsor a bit. On, uh, on, 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 my, on my knuckles. There you go. Yeah. Going up in the world, mate. Yeah. Now, I don't need to ask when you first got into music because I've seen mm. photo evidence when mm. you were four. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. When I'm four, when I'm but I'm four years old. <laughs> yeah. And um, yeah, I was on stage. It was, I, my, my family used to take these holidays. We used to go caravanning mm -hmm. in France because why not? Yeah. And um, for some reason, we didn't take a caravan. We, there was one station in there. Okay. But for some reason, we still decided to drive from Scotland to France, That's and awesome. it took ages. Did you go on the ferry? At the ferry, yeah, ferry for Dover. And I, and I like a ferry as much as the next guy. But I always found it weird that we drove because planes exist. Mm. So yeah, they do actually. We did do that, and we flew over. And I remember it was I was obsessed with Queen at the time. I had the CD that you got in like the newspapers. Yeah. Um, it was uh, it had like We Are the Champions, and We Will Rock You on. It was like a 
not a two side thing because it was a CD, but it was just like a two song yeah. thing. And uh, yeah, t for some reason, I just kept listening to those songs over and over again. And then I went to this karaoke thing, and there was a guy up doing a singy thing, and I was like, not a karaoke, but like it was a band playing, and yeah. you could have people come oh, on. That's a lot. It was, yeah, it was a big thing. And I went up as a four-year-old child and says, can I sing this song? And I sang it and I really liked it. So I went up and asked if I could sing another song. Um, and I think, yeah, that was when I realised I wanted to be an artist. A show-off, professionally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Lewis, I've got a Wikipedia question. Right. So it might be false. So I read that you started performing in pubs at mm. the age of 12. Yes. Correct? Correct. Aha. Uh -huh. So are they, those pubs still open? Would you go there and perform? Um, I would if, if, they, if, if they asked me. <laughs> And they were offering money. <laughs> no, um, yeah. So I used to play like in pubs. My brother was always—he's six years older than me—but he was always in bands. So we kind of started playing music like parallel to one another, which was good because I got like six years that I wouldn't have necessarily had. Okay. I, I probably would have started at fifteen. So um, yeah, I kind of went on and, and used to sneak into these pubs, hide in the bathrooms, and for a, like a long time, and then come out, play my set, and then I would be asked to leave because I was a libet, and. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's something that I've carried on into my adult life, gigging and hiding in men's hiding bathrooms in yeah, <laughs> for extended periods of time. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> no, I, so, but I think they're still open. No, and none of them closed down because there was an 11 year old in the pub. It was probably because you know, oh, that's like good. pub violence or something like that. Right. The usual that's stuff. good to know. Yeah. That is really good to know. <laughs> Long may they continue to yeah. feed and quench thirsts. Not so, yeah, not so young boys. I honestly feel like we, I'm getting to know you a lot. However, I do have some quick fire questions okay. for anyone that wants to know all about you. Yep. Ready? Yep. So those, paper. Yep. Nice. Yeah, there you go. If I asked your best friend to tell me what your best or worst qualities were, what would they say? Worst qualities, farting quite a bit. Right. Best qualities, farting quite a bit. Yes. Because it can bring, it can lighten the mood at any sort of function. Okay, we'll just let you know the mood's already lightened, yeah, so there's yeah, no yeah, need. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. Totally. But next time you're at a funeral, mm. give it a go. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you Googled yourself? I mean, I've Googled myself before, but I'm usually, I'm more on like the Twitter. Okay, um, yeah, do you Twitter do that search. quite a bit? Yeah, yeah, it's definitely. It's dangerous though. It's dangerous and you do learn a lot about how much people dislike you and mm. quite a lot how much people think I look like meatloaf. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, there you go. <laughs> Oh, well, this next question is hilarious. Yeah. Who, would, who would you like to play you in a film about your life? Meatloaf. <laughs> but he would have to do me... I want Meatloaf to do me as a young man. What? I want Meatloaf to do me like in my, my teens, in my te nine to up through to like 16, and then I want the wee guy of the Stranger Things to play me in my adult years. The one with the curly hair? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I don't think we look similar. I just think he's really talented. I yeah. think he could pull it off. Super talented. So, yeah. Well, Lewis, this has been probably one of the most entertaining conversations I've ever had in my life. Smashing. Good thing the cameras were on there. <laughs> I know, yeah. <laughs> a, a huge congratulations <laughs> on being shortlisted for Brit's Critics' Choice. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. An absolute pleasure, mate. Nice one, likewise. Amazing. We embrace each other. Let's do it. Yeah. Nice one. Nice. Amazing. <laughs> Is that good? Is that usable?